Okay, so today we're going to uh, do some heat press work with a couple of shirts. Um, so I have a general, uh, just a basic clam press uh, that we use. Um, you obviously have the other type of presses, which are the swing over, um, which give you a little bit better pressure, and then obviously the, uh, a lot of different presses that are um, considerably more expensive that you can get that show pressure um, and some other stuff. So this is a pretty basic press here, uh, which is a lot of people use. It's very efficient to do sc screen uh, screen presses. We're gonna do the screens today. That's what we're gonna show. Try to do another video showing um, how I do the sublimination transfer shirts. Um, but today we're gonna do the screen, the screen uh, press shirt. Now this is a, a screen sheet that has been put on a, on a screen press uh, for shirts and the paint is put on backwards and then these we sell these now um, we sell these and obviously then people um, press these onto the shirts and that's what we're going to look at today so when I start here I'm doing a medium white shirt um, this shirt's going to lay over the press now when you go to do it on this press I lay the shirt over just straight standard like so okay and obviously I'm gonna center it up some presses are made to where there's enough room under here that you're gonna flip it and do it backwards um, but I've always had to do it this way with this this type of press okay so we're going to try to center this up um, I have basically used my vision right in the middle know where that's at but you can put um, a mark right here in the center if you need to to kind of center your shirt up Okay, and the medium's pretty easy because you can look at the, the sleeves and stuff and kind of see where it's centered up. You obviously want to have about the same distance up here at the top, okay, where that shows that's even. And then try to grab your seams here on the side and try to have even space right there as well, okay? Now the first step you're going to do once you get your shirt centered on there, we're going to... Um, give it a quick press okay a couple of seconds don't even have to fully shut the clamp down tight all right so as you can see up here on my temperature for these uh the temperature can vary anywhere between 335 to 385 like the single color prints you can do anywhere between there uh, we're going to press this for about 10 to 12 seconds a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what do we do with a certain type of print that we're selling? So this one with multiple colors or one that has a bunch of colors, uh, you usually keep the uh, temperature a little bit lower, back, stay down there at that 335, and it presses about the same amount of time, about 10, 12 seconds. Okay, so back to this, pressure-wise, um, I, my, I'm getting all the pressure out of this that I can. Um, most people with, the ch with a little bit cheaper press, you're probably going to use most of the pressure for these. Uh, if it's a brand new press, like I press thousands of shirts with this one, so it's, it's got a lot of wear in it. If it's newer, you might not be cranked all the way down and obviously be able to get more pressure out of it. Okay, so, but the, the, the pressure is pretty well high to medium-ish. Okay, and, we'll, and I'll show you that when we go to pill it so you kind of know what's going on um, to make sure it's coming out right. So when I go to put my sheet on there, I'm just going to make a fold here in the middle at the top um, to obviously try to center it on the shirt. Depending on the length of the design, this design uh, post Malone Christmas is um, a little longer. So I'm going to set it a little higher on the shirt. I bring it down about two inches. I'm pretty. I, I like to look at the measurements. A lot. Of, you can pretty well eye this though, as well. Uh, once you kind of get the feel for it. So I bring this down about two inches or so. Uh, then I I kind of use this just to square it off. You can pretty well see it in your eye as well. Now, once you get to this point, you can see all this hanging off. You have to be the way I do it. You have to be careful. You just come up where you fold this over. And you're just pulling the shirt okay and as long as you're not shifting anything on there obviously you can see if the designs moved or not okay so I'm gonna get it as far under the under the press this type of press 
they're, you're going to have more pressure back here. Okay, if you have the swing over what direct pushes down on it, the pressure will be more even. Okay, on this type of print and stuff, it's not that as bad of a situation. You get plenty of heat and it transfers okay. Okay, so we've got it centered up. We're ready to go. I'm going to, you don't have to cover these with anything. You're just going to spray straight uh, press right there on top of the sheet. Okay, so I'm going to we'll lock it down. I'm going to let it go for 10 to 12 seconds on this. Uh, depending on your heat elements and your type of press, seven seconds may be enough. Okay, so when I go to peel this, you're going to peel it pretty much immediately. Okay, and as you start to peel this, if it does anything funny, you see I'm not peeling it super fast, okay? But you just want to make sure it peels off just like that. Now, if it starts to peel, it starts to do anything crazy, you can lay the sheet right back down and press a little bit longer. I only say that if you have a press like this, which isn't super expensive. If you're careful with it, you shouldn't mess up hardly any designs, if any. Okay, so you can see here, now that it's pressed, I don't need to repress these or anything. Okay, and it comes out really, comes out really nice. Okay, and, that, and that's it on that. All right. Now we'll do one more.